Gurve Gora Chanda Radikaya Tadale Krishna Krishna Bhaktaya Tadavattaya Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhunitya Nanda Sri Advaita Gadadha Shiva Sadi Gaurava Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ramo, Hare Ramo, Ramo Ramo. So first of all, I have to pronounce to our Gurudev. On Vishnu Pad to the Lissami. Shishimad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Gosai Maharaj. Arupanuga Guru Varga. All devotees, Dandavat pronouns. So, yesterday we had a program in the city, so we could not make it here in time. So, normal class was cancelled. So, we are hearing from this Harinam Chintamani. This book was composed by Bhaktivinoda Thakur about the conversation between Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and Haridas Thakur. <coughs> So Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the father of the Sankirtan mission and Haridas Thakur is the Acharya of chanting the holy name. So, What discussion they have about Nam Tattva that will be most beneficial to all. So there are two type of Nam Aparat, uh, two type of Nam Abbas. Nam Abbas means when one chants with an absence of offense, ten offenses to the holy name. So when one chants in an absence of that, that is called Namabas. But still he is not chanting with relationship. So this Namabas is two types. One is Chaya Namabas. Means like Chaya means shadow. So means in the association of pure Vaishnavas, some shadow of their devotion touches you, some rays of their devotion. So this type of Chaya Namabas is glorious and worshipful. But there is another type of Namabas, which is most despicable, that is Pratibhimba Namabas. Pratibhimba means reflection. So the problem with the reflection is it's completely opposed. It's the complete opposite. But a chaya, shadow, has direct relationship with the original. So Pratibhimba Namabhas, this is achieved by the Mayavadis. Like when they hear by chanting Harinam, one can easily attain liberation. Then Mayavadis weep and also chant, Haribol, Haribol. But this chanting of Namabhas cannot really help them. In fact, it, it, it degrades them. So, there are two, two defects. Chaya Namabhas means the devotee is still plagued by weakness of heart you know, and ignorance, but still he chants the holy name, like Ajamil. <clears throat> Ajamil was only a sinful person, but he had not offended any Vaishnavas. He had not blasphemed Bhagavan. He was just a sinful man in bad association. So easily he could chant Chaya Namabhas. So Chaya Namabhas easily cleans one from the defects of weakness of heart and ignorance. But Pratibhimba Namabhas that Namabhas which is chanted in the association of the Mayavadis, that only increases the defects of the chant. Therefore Bhaktivinoda Thakur said in every ch chanting party there should be at least one Sudha Vaishnav. Sudha Vaishnav means, generally speaking, someone in the stage of Nishta, that is general Sudha Vaishnav. Nadanam Nadanam Nasudanim Kavitamba Jagadish Shakuja Janmani Janmani Nitsuri Babadat Bhakti Hoiti Kle. It's an example of Sudha Bhakti. They have no other desires. Because in the chanting of association of the pure Bhakta, then their qualities reflect, 
reflect in the heart, then one can chant Namab Chaya Namabhas easily. But in the association of Maya bodies, that defect will not be removed. There were some singers and Gurudev was instructing them. They said, Gurudev, we go in many places and mix with many types of persons because Gurudev was saying, give, completely give up the association of the Maya body. Then they were saying, but Gurudev, everywhere we go, there are Maya bodies. We have to go on the stage with them and chant. Then Gurudev said that if they are really Maya bodies, when they're doing Kai Kirtan, you should not chant with them. You should put down your instruments and keep your hands like that. And then if they ask why you are not chanting, then you can tell them. So Pratipimba Namabhas just causes degradation. Therefore, many, many people are chanting. All around the world, Kirtan has become very famous, very prominent. You know? But we are not too much concerned with that. We are more concerned with the quality of the chant. Because Bahu Janma Kadi Yadi Shravana Kirtan Napai Krishna Napai One may chant for many, many lifetimes, but one is in bad association. He cannot achieve Prema, he cannot achieve Krishna. So here Bhakti Nod Thakur discusses about the chanting of the Mayavadis. Mayavadis for new persons that should be understood. They understand that Krishna's name, form, qualities and pastimes are all illusionary, material and temporary. They consider Krishna's body to be made of Maya. Therefore they are called Mayavadis. Vad means philosophy. That is the philosophy of Maya. They believe everything is illusion, including Krishna, including the Vaishnavas, including Bhakti Yoga. So we will hear a bit about that. <clears throat> Saraswati Thakur said, unless Mayavad is uprooted, taken out from the root, there can be no successful preaching of Sudha Bhakti in this world. So Krishna Mrupgun Liladi Sakal Mayavadi Mat Mitya Nashwa Shama. The Mayavadis think Krishna's names, Krishna's himself, Krishna's form, Krishna's qualities, Krishna's Lila, all are completely false, temporary and contaminated. Even they may speak the Bhagavatam, they may chant Harinam, they may worship the deity, but their goal is, ultimately they think all oh, this is not real. This is just like a sadhan to achieve liberation. So they do, but we are the opposite. No? We are doing bhakti in the, ta, in the stage of shrad, shrava, in the stage of sadhan, but also in the, stage of, in the stage of perfection, the same activities are there of shrava, kirtan, vishnu, smarana. Like Radhika herself, day and night what she's doing? No? Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Pada, Sevanam, Archana, all these things. Say mat pramatattva nitya nahi hai, bhakti viparita mayavadi sunishchai. They do not believe in the eternality of the soul's relationship with Krishna. In this way, Mayavad is the complete opposite of Bhakti or the complete opposite. Bhakti Vaiji Mahadi Mayavadi Raganan Ateva Mayavadi Aparadi Han. Therefore, the Mayavadis are considered amongst the enemies of Bhakti, the complete enemies of devotion. So we should treat them like that. Therefore, the Mayavadis are offenders to the offenders to Krishna, to Vaishnavas, and to Bhakti. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was in Navadvip, and he manifested the mood of Vishnu in the house of Srivas Thakur for twenty hours, Astapara, Astapara. That time Mahaprabhu became very angry in Mayavadi in Varanasi. There is one Mayavad, Prakashananda Saraswati. He cuts my body to pieces with his philosophy. Right? What would the Mayavadi say? The absolute truth has no arms, no legs, no eyes, no nose, no feet, no activities, no shakti. 
nothing. You know? Therefore, they are like cutting the arms and legs and eyes and nose of the Supreme Lord. Mahaprabhu said, even though I have given him leprosy, still he not understands. So very, very hard to convert such persons to devotional service. Seven days and seven nights, Mahaprabhu spent with Sabhabom Bhattacharya, then changed. So, Mayavad Muknam Nahi Bohirai, Nam Bohirai Tabu Namatva Napaya. The holy name never comes from the mouths of the Mayavadis. What comes out is not Harinam, it is something else. Like when <laughs> Mahaprabhu was, who was to, someone was talking to one Mayavadi, he would not say name Krishna, he would say Brahma. He would say all these things. It's so very rare they say the name of Krishna. Mayavadi yadikori nam ucharam nama kiyo nitya boli labaya The Mayavadi say the holy name is not eternal. Even if they chant the name of Krishna, they still fall into all auspiciousness. You know, we always say Harinam is most auspicious. Madara madara meta mangala mangala nam sikrit nagamavali satphalam chit surupam sikritapi parijitam shada helayava brigumani nara tari at Krishna nam. Sri Sanatana Goswami has written of all sweet things the name of Krishna is the sweetest of all auspicious things the name of Krishna is the most auspicious so first time we heard that someone attains inauspiciousness by chanting the holy names that is the Mayavadis even if they chant the name of Krishna loudly they still fall into the most inauspicious conditions of life. Therefore, you can understand how, how harmful is the Mayavad philosophy to the soul. Actually, it's one, therefore, Raghunath Goswami said, Mukti kata na suni vyagri Just like one should run very far away from a tiger, one should keep very great distance from these persons, the Mayavadis. So, then why they chant? Namera nikate bog mokshira pratan namera nikate satya falete yata. They pray, they chant the holy name, but what they want? They want bukti and mukti, enjoyment or liberation. But the holy name deceives them and gives them only suffering. Imagine. How much Krishna is displeased with them, even though they chant his name, Krishna gives them suffering on. However, they may change if they get some Vaishnava association. <laughs> because Krishna is also very attractive. So if they get a Sangha of Vaishnavas, they may change also. Therefore, Rupa Goswami said, Bukti Mukti Sprihaya with Pisachi with Ivatite, Tavad Bhakti Sukasya Katamu Dobaya Bobet. As long as one's heart is infected with the two witches of desire for enjoyment, desire for liberation, then the holy name never appears, that Bhakti Devi never appears in their heart. Tabiyadi Mayavadi Bukti Mukti Asha Acharya Kore Nam Hoya Krishna. However, my body, it rejects the desire for enjoyment and desire for in liberation and chants the holy name, he will become Krishna Das. But how they can give up that? Only by a Sangra of Vaishnavas. No, like <clears throat> some big mercy of Bhagavan or big mercy of Vaishnavas. Like in Jaiva Dharma, first chapter, there was Paramahamsa, Baba, Paramahamsa Babaji. He was achieved the fourth stage of sannyas. He was in the school of Sankaracharya. Bahuchak, Kutichak, Hamsa, Paramahamsa. Four stages of sannyas. In Bhagavatam, they're mentioned. So one day he was in the street in Varanasi, then he saw one Vaishnav. That Vaishnav had tears flowing from their eyes. 
their voice was choked, their feet were slipping on the path because they could not walk properly. And that devotee was chanting Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadha, Shiva Sadi, Gauda Bhakti. So that Mayavadi, just by seeing the Vaishnava, then he felt one touch of prema. Such a condensed ecstasy he had never felt in his many, many years of Mayavad Sadam, Gyan Sadam. But because he was a Paramahamsa, who had taken a vow of silence and because of some pride, because when you are Brahma, why will you <laughs> approach someone else for some instruction? Because you are the Supreme. So this because of pride, the Mayavadi did not approach him. Then afterwards he regretted, began looking, could not find him. But that thing that he felt was so powerful, he left Varanasi, he went to Vrindavan, he spent a long time in Vrindavan, then he came to Navadvipa, there he met the Vaishnavas. So, Tabi Tade Chari Mayavada Dushtamat Anutab Saha Saha Hoi Nam Anugat. But if he rejects the evil philosophy of Mayavad, the wicked philosophy of Mayavad, and begs forgiveness, he can become a servant of the holy name, a follower of the name of Krishna. Sadhu Sankhore Puna Shravana Kirtan Susambandha Gyan Tabi Vidaya Tatakshan there was one devotee, now he left his body a few years ago. His name was Prem Bala. Very sweet man, very funny. Gurudev would too much joke with him also. So his history is very wonderful, I heard. In India there's a type of sadhus, like Nagababas. That's, and their initiation is they get their genitals crushed with a rock, like one type of Brahmachan. For life, of course. So he had shaved his head, he was there in line waiting for the initiation. <laughs> he became afraid and ran away. So sometime later he met Gurudev. And he had this tilak, this Mayabad tilak, Tripundra it's called. And Gurudev went up to him and with his thumb did like that to his tilak and made Vaishnav tilak. Then he became a devotee by hearing Harikata. So Sadhu Sankhore Puna Shravana Kirtan Susambandha Gyan Tabha Udaya Tatakshan And in Sadhu Sangh he will get again and again hear Krishna's name, form, qualities and pastimes. He will gain true knowledge of his association, of his relationship with Krishna. So, he will chant continuously with tears in his eyes, attaining the mercy of Krishna's name. His heart will become strong, means he will give up this weakness of Mayavad philosophy. Krishna Rup, Krishna Dasya, Jivara Swabhav, Mayavad Anitya Kalpit Balesha. The Mayavad is what they say, Krishna's name, Krishna's service. This is all imagination, not real. In this way, Bhaktivinoda, uh, I think Haridas Thakur is speaking. Mayavad philosophy is, the, is a great offense to the name of Krishna. From Mayavad philosophy, all calamities appear. And this, in India, but also in the West, this Mayavad is all pervasive. Pretty much Bhaktivedanta Bhaman Maharaj counted Christianity, Islam, Judaism, all the yoga practices, these are all like branches of Mayavad. Like Kali had many, many heads, so Mayavad has many, many forms. It means not accept the form of God. So, Namabhas Kalpataru Mayavadi Jan Abhishta Arpan Kori Sayuja Nirvan. 
But the holy name fulfills all desires, therefore the Maya body's desire, Nirvana, Sayuja Mukti. So but the holy name gives that to them. Hmm. But this is not real liberation, this is called Mukti Abbas. Hmm. Well, this very strong philosophy. Why? What is real Mukti? No, Madhvacharya said Mukti, Vishnu Rangri Labdaiti Mukti, service of the feet of Vishnu. This is liberation. So in simple language, service to Krishna is the highest form of liberation. So, the Maya bodies actually do not achieve Mukti. What did they achieve? Mukti Abbas, the shadow of Mukti, that is Sayuja Mukti. Brahmalin merging with the impersonal Brahman. When the demigods prayed to Krishna in the womb, then they prayed like this. Those who do not accept your lotus feet, but consider themselves liberated, they have Abhuda, Abhishuddha Buddha, they have contaminated intelligence, contaminated consciousness. They only think themselves to be liberated, but actually they are not. So Panchavita Mukti Madhya Sayuja Abbas Bab Klesh Nasmatra Fali Sarvamas. There are five types of liberation. Now, four of them have some place in Vaishnavism. Salokya Shasti, Sumipya Surup, Ekatva Piyuta, Diyamanam, Nagrihanam, Bina, Mat, Sevanam, Janam. Okay, Nangamanjari from South Africa, try and come for Kartik this year. Don't be so greedy, always chasing money. Four type of liberation. Salokya, achieving the same planet as Lord Narayan. Samipya, achieving residence near Lord Narayan. Sarsti, enjoying the opulence of Lord Narayan. And Salokya, Sarsti, Sarupya Mukti, achieving a form similar to Lord Narayan. So these four can be accepted, but Gaudiya Vaishnavas reject even these four. Kapila Dev said, Diyamanam Nagrihanam Bina Mat Sevanam Janam. But Krishna, no. Kapila Dev said, but the Vaishnavas reject even these four, especially the Gaudiya Vaishnavas. They give up these four types of liberation and they only desire service to Krishna. Like Guru Dev would say, if Lord Narayan says, come, come, I will give you a four-handed form. Come with me to Vaikuntha and then the Vaishnavas will say, no, no. We only want one thing, to become bridge bhasis, especially to make servants of Radhika. So this Sayuja Mukti, Sayuja Mukti means merging into Krishna's effulgence. No? What is the Brahma Jyoti? No? The Brahma Jyoti is the Anga Kanti of Krishna, it means the bodily effulgence of Krishna. Right? And that Brahma Jyoti consists of countless, countless liberated souls. So you can go there and become one of them, the effulgence of Krishna's body only. Therefore it's called, but they have no relation with Krishna. Therefore Jiva Goswami in Paramatma Sandhav says they surround Vishnu like parikas, like associates. <clears throat> like associates means not associates, but they're near the Lord, therefore they're like associates, but no feeling of affection, no feeling of service. And what is the only benefit of this Sayuja Mukti? It destroys suffering, but the end it is the cause of all misfortune. What misfortune? You cannot attain Krishna's service. In that case, it's the cause of all inauspiciousness. Anything which is not connected with Krishna gives inauspiciousness only. Even a good thing not offered to Krishna also gives all inauspiciousness. Like one, there was one man and the sun god gave him a shaman takaju. Then Krishna asked for it. Give that to me, I will give to Ubrasen. 
but he did not give. At the, at the end, that same Samantaka jewel was the cause of his death and the cause of his brother's death, Prasen. So, Mayaya Mohit Gyan Taesuk Mane Sukabas Matrapai Sayujde Nirvani. Like now we're in Nepal for a few days. So just up the road from our little room here, there is Swayambhu Temple. Actually, Swayambhu means Lord Brahma, but they've taken another name. Swayambhu means something concerned with Buddhism. So here Buddhism is quite strong because Tibet is nearby. Many, many Tibetans come to Nepal to take shelter. So ordinary persons think I will give, uh, Maya will give me happiness. This woman will give me happiness. Living in Mexico will give me happiness. Ordinary person, people think that. But some people understand, no, this happiness is only limited, temporary. In the end, it's just a transformation of suffering. So in order to become free from that suffering, he takes shelter of Mayavad or Buddhism. Buddhism and Mayavad is practically the same thing. But instead of finding happiness, he just achieves a shadow of happiness. It means like if you're getting punched in the face and someone stops, then you feel some temporary happiness. No, a shadow of happiness, but of course that is not real bliss. So this way by Mukti Abbas, he achieves Sayuja Mukti, impersonal liberation of merging with the Brahma Jyoti. But that happiness is called Sukhabhas, shadow of happiness. There's no connection with Krishna. Satchidananda Seva Parama Nibrit Sayurja Napai Kabu Hat Krishna Smriti. The highest pleasure is service to the eternal Satchidananda Surup of Krishna. However, however, when he achieves Sayurja Mukti, he forgets Krishna. So this way it's also called Mayabad, the whole philosophy. Forgetfulness of Krishna is Maya. How can a person who does not have faith that devotion is eternal and pure love for Krishna is also eternal? How can such a person achieve happiness? That is impossible. Chaya nama basi nahi gya jane dushtamat mata va chitbal nahi tarahat. But someone who is chanting chaya nama bas means he's not contaminated with mayavad. He's not connected with any bogus philosophy. But he's chanting hari nam. No, but this nama bas does not destroy him. It does not deceive him. No. It does not achieve inauspiciousness. Why? Because the soul cannot know the truth by itself. This is a great mystery, even though we are all by constitution Krishna's eternal servants. Without mercy, of Bhagawan or Vaishnavas, we cannot understand. Many examples, like a woman, all women have potency to give birth, more or less. But without connection with a husband, that potency not manifest. Gurudev gave the example, all ladybirds, female parrots, all have the ability to sing. But unless they're captured by a hunter and trained, that singing never manifests. Like all parrots apparently can speak, hello, yes, no, very good, but only if they're trained, that potency manifests. All seeds have a potency to become a tree, but unless they get connection with water, that potency does not manifest. So Bhaktivinoda Thakur describes Bhagawan does everything by his potencies. 
So that one Shakti is called Parashakti. That Parashakti is composed of three tenets, three tendencies, three functions. The Sandini Shakti, the Sambit Shakti, and the Ladini Shakti. So, Sandini means potency of existence, Sambit means potency of knowledge, and Ladini means potency of existence. So this Surup Shakti is the cause of everything. So a spark of that, if this Surup Shakti is like the sun, Krishna is the sun, and that effulgence surrounding the sun, that is the Surup Shakti. Sun and sunlight never separate. So a spark of that Surup Shakti, a minute molecule, a tiny fraction, a separated portion of the Surup Shakti that is called the Jiva. And the shadow of the Surup Shakti is called Maya. So the Krishna's internal potency, the Surup Shakti, possesses all knowledge, all eternity, and all bliss. But because the Jiva comes from that like a spark, those three qualities of existence, knowledge and bliss, are present in the jiva in a minute form. So that minute form, then existence is present in the jiva in, in personal existence. The knowledge potency is present in the jiva in a minute form in the form of Brahmagyan, in personal knowledge. And the Ladini. No, the happiness potency is present in the jiva in a minute form in the term of Brahmananda, in personal happiness. So many people like the jiva institute, you know, Satinarayan Das, you know, Baba, and others, they present this theory, they say, see, bhakti cannot be inherent in the jiva, no, the surup of the jiva can be inherent in the jiva, because of this, it's a particle, etc. They don't accept many of these things also. No? But Bhaktivinoda Thakur knows very nicely all these things. Therefore, he said the tiny sarup of the soul, present in the form of tiny head, tiny arms, tiny legs, tummy, tiny body, cloth, that is present in the form, but in a very minute way. No? Therefore, we say potency but it's present. The form of the jiva is present because it comes from the Sandini Shakti. Therefore, bhakti is definitely inherent in the jiva there, in the form of potency. Because the jiva in this world has no shelter of the surup shakti, that potency not manifest. Like a seed not get rain, not grow. Parrot not get trained, it cannot sing. A woman without connection with a husband cannot produce a child. In the same way, the jiva without the shelter of the parashakti, cannot have, cannot really taste devotion. Because devotion is not a function of Tatasta Jeeva or Mayavadi. It's the combination of the Samvit and Ladini Shakti. But it's present there in the Jeeva in a minute form, so the potency to perform bhakti is there. No, but Satinarayan and the Jiva Institute made a big book all trying to say the Jiva is just like a piece of jello. You know, like in Indonesia they have aga aga. I guess the nearest thing in America is like you know like jello. Like imagine if they had a jello with no flavor, non-flavored jello. Or in India we give the example like tofu or potato, but potato has taste so that's not a very good example. They said the Jiva is just like a piece of jello. No inherent mood, no inherent form, no inherent service, nothing. Like Nirvishesh, it has existence but nothing else. But by association, these qualities come and then he mirrors the association, then he can have devotion. But there are many, 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 many defects in this philosophy of Satyendra and Das Babaji. If bhakti came by association of devotees, that means it had a beginning, it had a cause. But everywhere we hear that bhakti is eternal. No? 
If you can only get bhakti by association of devotees, just say I met the devotees in 2010, then my bhakti began there, then how bhakti can be called eternal? So many, many defects in this idea. It's like also one type of mayavad. One type of mayavad philosophy. The bhakti is not inherent. It's not the eternal dharma of the soul. So anyway, this is another point, maybe another night we can discuss. But our Gurudev would always talk. Bhakti is eternal, the Sruka, the Jiva is eternal, the devotee's mood is eternal. But covered, lost, hidden, present in the form of portraits. So, say, why I'm speaking all this? Say, Kevala Nahi Jane Yatata Prabhav, say, Prabhav Gyan Dan Namena Subha. By his own power, the soul cannot know the truth. Only when the Holy Name gives the gift of knowledge can the soul understand anything. So, the innocent soul, we can say, innocent. Innocent means no knowledge, weak heart, but not infected by Mayavad, that person can be called innocent soul. So the innocent soul, by chanting Holy Name, may chant this Chaya Namabas. No Chaya means shadow. And this Chaya Namabas, this Chaya Namabas gives all good things in this world, association of Vaishnavas being the main one. And by chanting Chaya Namabas, one gets the Sangha of Vaishnavas. By the Sangha of Vaishnavas, one knows one's eternal relationship. When one chants with some Bandhagyan, then the clouds of Anatas, we talked the other night, the 16 type of Anatas, the clouds of Anatas covering the Jiva's vision of the pure holy name are dissipated, and the sun, pure bhakti, manifests directly. Chaya Namabasi Danya Sadguru Prabhav Alpadin Nam Prem Anayasipam. By the power given by genuine spiritual master, a fortunate person who is chanting Chaya Namabas after a few days easily achieves prema. A few days. Hare Krishna. Okay, so Chaya Namabas is one gateway for chanting Shuddha now. So therefore by all this we can understand better to be ignorant. Better to be foolish, better to know nothing than take the association of the Mayavadis. So Mayavadi Sangha Teha Sutta Kacharya Sudanam Parayan Tushibe Shaviya E Tutumaragya Sri Krishna Chaitanya Sayagya Ye Palise Jive Danya. A soul who carefully avoids associating with Mayavadis. Like the other day we did a, pro a program here in Nepal. This lady, old lady, had Krishna pictures everywhere, but also Sai Baba, this guy, that guy. Very hard for her to come out of that. No? So very carefully, Mayavad Sangatena Sata Kachari. Very carefully, we must avoid the Mayavad association. And who pleases the pure devotee by their service. That the pure devotee always chants Sudanam. And who follows the instructions of Lord Chaitanya, that person is most fortunate. Sjene palitab agya se jiv cha koti janma kichuti idaya na habe udar. A soul who does not follow your instructions, Haridas Thakur say, is worthless rubbish. Char means like garbage, useless. Char. Koti jami kichu ena hobi udan. Millions of lifetimes he cannot be delivered. Like we know, eating meat is wrong. But we just give many excuses. Oh, my body, my physique, my this, that. But we know it's wrong. Why not stop him? People know illicit sex is wrong, but still doing. This wife, that wife, this girlfriend, that girlfriend. People know smoking guns or all these things are bad, forbidden, but still they're doing. So, soul, yene palitav agya sejiv cha. What cha means? 
Sejiv Cha, one who gives up your instructions. Sejiv Cha, that Jeev is useless, worthless rubbish. No, so all these things we have to follow very nicely. Kusang Charya Prabhu Ramka Tabapai. Krishna protects those persons who give up all this bad association. Tabapada Padma Binu Nadeki Upai. Apart from Krishna's lotus feet, there is no other shelter. Krishna here means Sri Krishna Chaitanya. Haridas Padadwande Binode Yahar. Harinam Chittamani Sadaganatar. Again and again, Bhaktivinoda takes shelter at the feet of Haridas Thakur. And again and again, Bhaktivinoda Thakur says, We sing this Harinam Chittamani. Okay, so we're hearing all this Nama Parad, these Anatas, these cover the soul's perception of reality. So, what are the ten offenses to the holy names? So, here, is huge big chapter huge chapter something like 150 pages long discussing the ten offense the ten offenses against the holy name so just from the top of my mind we can speak about them but Bhakti Notako describes each of them Unless you know something's wrong, unless you know you've taken the right way, how can you come on the right path? You know? So Sadhu Ninda, first one, blaspheming Vaishnavas. Sadhu Ninda, I just looking because I want to say in the correct order. Thinking Brahma or Shiva or the demigods to be independent or different from Vishnu. Second name of offense to the holy name. Third holy name, neglecting of spiritual master, neglecting Gurudev, disobeying. As Avagya, Guru Avagya, Avagya means neglecting, not giving importance to his instruction. Shruti Shastra Ninda, blaspheming, and blaspheming the Vedic scriptures. So all scriptures do not describe pure bhakti, but we should not criticize even them. Why? There's a reason they're speaking in such a way. So Shruti Shastra Nindam criticizing the Vedas. Okay, number five. Am I at number five? Nam Atavad Aparat. Oh, the glories of the holy name I described everywhere. If one thinks this is an exaggeration, Nam Atavad Aparat. Na also means giving some imaginary explanation of the holy names. Nambal, Nambal, Pap, Buddhi, committing sinful activities on the strength of the holy name. Ah, it's okay. I'm a devotee. No. Thinking, oh, the holy name will destroy my sins. I can do more and more sinful activity. Krishna is not so foolish like we think. This is the sixth holy name, sixth offense against the name. Okay. Instructing the faithless persons on the glories of holy name. That means giving initiation to someone who has no faith because of greed. That is not seventh Nama Parad. Anjali comes 45 minutes late. Anya Subhakarme Sahit Nama Ketuligyan. Consider considering the chanting the holy name to be just another auspicious and good activity. Equating the chanting of the holy name is also the same as giving charity and all these things. Feeding the orphans, cow protection. You know, an inattention while chanting, which is the root of all these other nine offenses. Despite hearing the glories of the holy name, still thinking in terms of I and mine, So we can hear about these. It's a big chapter, chapter. Oh, actually, each offense has its own chapter. Anjali says, "Sorry, I'm working. This is no excuse." For me. So each of the ten offenses gets one chapter. So I'm here in. I'll be here in Nepal for a few days. We can try and make our way through it. 
Then I'm going back to Australia for Janma, Radastami. Then I have to go to Australia to get my Russian visa and some new Indian visa. What a nightmare all these rules are. So in Australia, I'll have time. It's, so we'll finish this with Lord Wyatt before Kartik. So all glories to the Vaishnavas. Go Premanandi. Hari Hari Bo.